34 and then a 34 7 and 34 8 so decent enough consistency there at the end of the session from it to go then and rejoin scott redding a few tenths of a second down uh, he should be able to get uh, this lap completed and have time for one more in the remainder of uh, free practice two and he's redding who is at the moment the only rider uh, on the move as far as the front runners are concerned chas davies has just made up a couple of positions but uh, only into p15 so work for him to do over the course of this weekend redding crosses the line to go p5 splits bautista and haslam in the uh, pecking order uh, 134 579 Scott Redding's time three and a half tenths of a second down on Raz Gatlioglu we ride on board now. yeah Redding that fastest of all in sector three as well now so he's been able to find some progress over the course of the the last couple of sessions as well Alvaro Bautista won't improve on his uh, final lap he's lost over a second through sector two after being uh, seven thousandths of a second up through sector one uh, Raz Gatlioglu there exiting the final turn and uh, crosses the line to complete his session and see the chequered flag in his previous lap. But he's not going to mind too much about that. Raz gatlioglu has got this session. He's got Friday sewn up here at the Mandalika International Circuit and with a series of stunning laps faster than his uh, nearest rival, Jonathan Black. Yeah, and uh, what's going to be interesting is to see that for Toprak, he's fast in each of the sectors, very fast in sector two. But uh, for Jonathan Ray, he's making most of his lap time in the second half of the lap. If uh, Chas Davies gets caught up behind Oliver Koenig here, he uh, may well lose what looks set to be his personal best lap, and I'd say that's going to go away from him at now. He makes his way through on the inside line, and uh, that's where we're talking about the uh, potential overtaking zone in between uh, turns 15 and 16. It's uh, certainly one of the slowest, if not the slowest, corner on the circuit, and uh, Chas Davies using that to, to good effect to get through on Oliver Koenig. And it is a, a new personal best, but I fancy that Davies probably would have moved up in positions if he hadn't got caught behind the, uh, uh, the rider who's effectively a backmarker with all due respect this weekend on his World well, SBK day. Which has lost seven tenths per second. In that. So that's catching Kuhn against that sector. Kuhn's actually made some good progress in this session. He's been able to get himself well underneath the 107% time.